Yeah, I will say right now that she does stick around for a decent while as well, so this definitely is not going to be the last we see of her. Yeah. Especially given the fact that we're going down the hero pathway and Quo, for better or, or for worse, is essentially going to be used as the secondary character for the hero pathway. Yeah, she's the she is the Nyx, which I didn't put two and two together on that for some reason the first time I played the game. But maybe it's because she was introduced in the beginning of the game, so that kind of messed with my head a little bit. Yeah, that might have been what it was. But I think that's why she's a better character than Nyx, and she's just better in general. It's like, they actually put time into fleshing her out, and she isn't just the hero counterpart, or Free whatever. Blushard. Or, the, or the, the symbol of heroism, as opposed to Nyx, which is just, I'm a bad person. When, you know, I, think that's I enjoy what destruction and chaos, essentially. Yeah, and it's like, I think that's what we agreed on when we said that Nyx would be a better character if she wasn't just the, the villain, the, the, the villain person. Yeah, just the, the character I'm a bad to guy, be the so that's my for the villain pathway. Yeah, and it's like, also like, the, the fucking tongue-in-cheek, almost tongue bursting through your cheek of the fact that the hero is ice and not fucking villain is fire. Like, wow. Shocker. Ah. <laughs> It's a hate and fire, and you counteract each other. Yeah. And it's We're a shocker because really he's got lightning. <laughs> yeah, he, so he's the, he's the neutral. Yeah. It's not like Peter Griffin's fucking family guy. Yeah. 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 Oh man, the beginning of this game. Oh man, I'm starting to realize why this game broke my fucking heart. Back in the day. God, it's so fucking amazing looking. And then it, like, shits the bed with the ending. Oh, bummer. Also, this is probably one of my favorite blast cores in the game, specifically because of the abilities that it grants you. Just make maneuvering so much more fun and versatile just in general because all it is is augments to your current abilities i always think there's a place for a yeah something like this game and there's other games that play. It's like dude sometimes getting a better version of what i have is cooler than getting a whole new power set up and all these new powers and shit sometimes i'd rather just have the it's just your power but it's upgraded yeah. Also, why does it look like a nuke went off in that direction? Hang on a second. Let me check the map. Oh, that... You know what? That... No, wait. No, I don't think we're... I don't think he's close enough to be visible like that. As I was thinking, that could be the beast approaching. No, but it's, you're not far enough in the game to start seeing the beast. Yeah, but essentially, I just... I still don't know why it is nuke. I don't know why the sky is suddenly nuke, though. Yeah. Uh, isn't that where the game... Isn't that Empire City? No, it's not. Empire City's, like, super far away. Well, what am I thinking? I just did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got new abilities, which is specifically for this one. We got an upgrade to the hover ability, where instead of just hovering slightly, you will actually go up in the air a little bit before you start falling. Along with this new ability, which is pretty cool. I just gotta find a car for it. You know what? This parked one will do fine. You now get a super jump off of cars. Uh, little specific, but also because there's so many fucking cars in the game, it's it's not it's handy. Yeah. But yeah, I I do like the idea of your ability trees, and then it's like let's say you got a gunshot. Now you have a super gunshot, and it's like now you have a charge shot, and it's the Mega Man X thing too, where it's like you just enhance your abilities. Uh, and that comes from, like, my love of getting, like, Fire, Fyara, and Fire... And it's just, like, there's better versions... Oh, that is a good ability. Out. I'm getting that right now. Essentially, Ultra full Drake. energy recharge yeah. when you melee. Like, do a melee finisher. That's a good trade-off, actually. And that's one of the ones I got early, too, because, like, I did so much mean, uh, media. Oh, hey again, Nick. Melee. I said media. I said I meant melee. <laughs> my god. Oh yeah, more Bertrand stuff, I don't care, I'm just gonna... I know that it's so that I can actually hear all of it and all that, but I hate that I can't just drain the electricity from the TV 
and then just not and turn have it to off. hear it. I mean, in reality, once you're draining the energy, it should it should shut off quick and start messing up quick. Yeah, it should just turn off. Instead, no, it's just like you will drain just enough energy to keep it on. Right. But regardless of that annoyance, now we have another story mission to do with Nyx, where, surprisingly, Yay. it's not actually centered around being a bad guy. Uh-oh. So we can actually get a decent bit of okay. development with Hold her. Hold on, your robot are these guys. hard on my... Stop, pause, pause. You're, you're fucking dying on my end. Am, am I coming through fine now, or...? Anyway, back to the submission where Nyx, surprisingly, is not a villain. We're back, after the cut. It's surprisingly... Nice day for yeah, after, like, on side. Go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. Not dip or two dip. I don't want <laughs> any or dip. You. Yeah. Got him. Leg on. See that? I got him. <laughs> Must have been rough. It's a whole other world. You're already halfway there to skinny dipping with your fucking outfit, dude. Like, yeah, not, you know not what? Not you're not wrong. Person. Not to be that person at all, but Jesus. <laughs> There's so Yo. much skin. Yeah. But then again, she's fire, so I guess it kind of makes sense. What happened next? That's what, what I'm gonna show you. At least with something like this, like we were already complaining earlier about how a big problem with First, Nyx was that she was you. really mostly just put in to be the villain counterpart to the hero, like essentially partner. And, and this actually gives her yeah. a bit of development. Nice yeah. Which is sad, because doesn't it just get negated by the fact she never really gets anything since you are going to just be the villain, and also because she is just the villain counterpart? Yeah, this is... It is, unfortunately, negated pretty earlier. Like, decently soon afterwards, because, again, she is, essentially, the villain counterpart to Quo. Which, yeah, in terms of a story, limits her character way too much, way more than it really has any right to, to tell a good yeah. story. Yeah, whereas Quo doesn't get limited from being the quote-unquote hero variant, it's more like she That was just, just her a natural evolution. Actually, yeah, whereas, yeah, whereas Nyx is hindered by it, and that's why I think the karma system is fun, but overall has its flaws in both of these games. Give, give me give me an energy source. I need an energy source. Don't don't kill me. 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 You're over there. Stop. Don't. So don't shoot me. wait a minute. Question. You know there could have been an easy way to give yourself a health pack in this game. Just carry around a portable battery. You know what? Yeah, you're actually not wrong. Yeah. When that would well, that would have been such an easy like. Oh, press the D-pad to get a health recharge and uh. And every little charge you get will go to your portable battery, and if you need a full recharge, you can just pop it on your D-pad. Yeah. I would have done that. But, I don't know. Let's just see. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably just going to go ahead and skip this section, or at least the killing all the enemies part of it. Because, it really, at the end of the day, all you're supposed to do is just get to a boat. So... Yep. Dust Tornado, hopefully that hits up a lot of people, well, and bam. All this is going to do is take us a couple minutes. It's crazy that it took Berserk 20 years to do that. <laughs> Sorry, had to. I had to. He just went over a bridge. No, Thanks! <laughs> in today's edition of Stating the Obvious with Legon. What the- Barrel! Why didn't you launch me in the air? What? What? Huh? Oh! Uh, that was weird. Please, let me drain the electricity. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Finally. Like. But yeah, why? I do kind of agree. Like, I am kind of questioning myself why they didn't add, like, a portable health option as, in the form of a battery. Like, any excess charge goes to the battery. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh wait a second. That's off the boat. And I, I just lost the mission because I didn't got off the boat after the checkpoint. Oh, well. <laughs> Responsing back here anyway, with no enemies. I love skipping things. 
yes. I'm sure, again, to reference again, Berserk fans would love to say the same thing. <laughs> but they can't. Yeah. The biggest downside about this mission, though, is that most of it is just be on the boat, look at the scenery. You're just sitting here. Right. Quality gameplay. Yes. <laughs> Very engaging. Just, you know. You know what? I joke, but a anything's better than the fucking bus. True. I'm never gonna stop. The bus is fucking ass. I hate it the bus. It really was, and I am. I never forgot how bad the bus was. Huh? Yeah. No, I am never I don't going think so. to No. Also, just to show off, like, how powerful my, uh, the uh, new ability that I got for the, like, the, uh, what's it called? The Magnum Bolt is, even the Sniping Bolt, like, this, the thing that's called the Magnum Bolt will only do, only takes one shot to destroy the little thing on top of the towers when you hit it right. The Sniper Rifle takes two. Right. It doesn't Which sniper is... up after all. Yeah, so it's it's also just really good for the weaker enemies as well. Yeah, it just picks them off like super quick. <laughs> oh cool, I got another tornado. Let me on the boat. Oh, okay, don't get what on the boat. What a fun way to actually like test out the vigors. I forgot that this game had a fun way to tutorialize the powers. Anyway, continue it, yeah. You know, I think that's another thing that, and to, go, and to, to, to tie it in with Infamous 2, I do like a game that takes the time and effort to, like, help you, you know, let you practice your combat and melee. Like, Bioshock Infamous lets you play little carnival games to test out its vigors, and this game lets you actually do challenges to get your powers and then play, let you play with them once you get them. Yeah. That's cool. And I also feel like a small aspect of the game that is annoying, but also just makes an extremely high amount of sense, is the fact that the enemies, when they're knocked into water, will not just naturally die, unless the water is just that deep. Yeah, because of all the electricity. Also, you will just naturally die by sucking at this game. Very true. <laughs> this section just gives me a lot of trouble in general, because there's so many enemies so few areas to recharge your energy at. You gotta use these specific right. power generators. And I got stuck again! What? Good job. What the fuck? Okay, maybe that's just a fucking glitch with this game in general, apparently, and it's physics, in that you just get Yeah, wrecked. I think it might just be a collision detection thing. Give me, give me energy, please. please get just... Likely. And also another problem with this mission is that you have to physically keep up with the boat that Nyx is driving, and that... It's totally fun to do when you're having to kill a bunch of enemies. Yeah. Boat, come back! Alright, you know what, Tornado. Somebody tossed a grenade onto the... Okay, what was okay. the barrel physics on that? <laughs> Don't you press me. Barrel. No, barrel Get physics. off here, barrel. I know, I know. My barrel. And now we gotta beat up the freaks! <laughs> that one just fell off the boat. Also, efficient cleaning service. Pick up their corpses like that. Alright. Hopefully, that's all of them. Unfortunately, the cleaning service did not get to these two. Looks like another militia camp. <laughs> oh my god, wait, look, holy shit. My pleasure. What? There was so many fucking bodies on your boat! It's only two. 
listen, man. That's more than most I say that like that makes have. it better. Yeah, it's only two dead bodies on my boat. <laughs> Glad I wasn't here to see this. And thankfully, we don't have to actually kill these enemies. I saw some moving on the far right. shore. Oh, great. Please don't tell me I have to hover over there. I somehow did it, but I hate that I had to do it that way. And I also feel like I did that wrong again. Another one of these. Yeah, we're definitely fast forwarding or cutting at this point. Another thing that is just annoying about this enemy in general, I'm just going to say it right now, is that when they are in the water, they are unaffected by your electricity just falling around them. It doesn't do any damage like it does to other enemies. But somehow shooting it yeah. in the head with electricity does something different entirely. Like, that that totally makes sense. Please tell me there's another one over here somewhere. And thankfully, with this at least, you don't have to keep up with the boat. Right. Unlike the boss! Sorry, I'll never forget the boss. As you should, because apparently these guys never did either. Which is why they made everything just better. <laughs> so yep. we never had another bus. <laughs> and we never had another bus ever again. Ugh, why does that attack stunlock me? I hate it. And I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Good job. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> At least we get to see that unique finisher. Yeah. At least we get... Yeah, grenades. that's always a bonus. Sometimes I don't mind losing in a game if it's like to show something off that's unique. Yeah, I just don't want to have it take up way, way more time than it should. Like... Yeah. I know that we're... This Doom is, is going to be a jump. fun experience because of that. Oh, yeah, definitely. And also something Continue. like DMC1, where it's less because the enemies have their own unique death animations, but because DMC1 in particular actually gives the enemies unique fatality kind of screens when you die to a certain attack they can do. Which I'm probably not going to show it's, off, if I'm being entirely honest. Well, we can also YouTube them. Yeah, that too. I mean, or something. Not to steal content, I'm just like, we can always look at it, or... We, we can always, always look at somebody Tag the user. Yeah, and tag the user or whatever. But obviously... Credit the artist. <laughs> credit the artist. I mean, we could show it off, too. I, I wouldn't mind, because, like... And that's probably a holdover from Resident Evil 4, to be honest. It probably is, in all honesty. And I did not mean to get hit there, but I will... I guess I'll take this exchange. There are some games, though, that get so fucking morbid with it that I'm just like, uh... Like, I think there was one game that was made that uh, the devs actually just, like, straight up had to take a break from because they were just so fucking uh, exhausted from the brutality. I think that was, brutality. like, Mortal Kombat. Like, one of the Mortal... One of the yeah, recent Mortal yeah. Kombats. I don't know which one. When, yeah, one of, the re one of the recent Mortal Kombats, the devs said that they just had to take a break because they were just seeing nightmares of it and shit. Yeah, I think it was either 10 That's or 11. That's brutal. Yeah. And it's like, that's just, that just hurts, man. Like, can you imagine? Uh, I, I'm not going to question that momentum bug. Because that was weird. Never, never question a bug. Always just enjoy. Consume product. Yeah, like the blue Futaba I had earlier. Yeah, just enjoy life. To consume product, go to sleep, wake up, make money to consume more product. I killed it with melee, <laughs> yay. Yay, melee. Cool. May yeah. Melee, more like may yay. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go see myself. Nix, out now. Why Bye. couldn't you have just done that earlier? 
Why couldn't you just uh, driven the boat by earlier up, and not let up. me have to kill that thing? Insert Roxas, shut up. <laughs> oh, okay, now there's four of them. And, okay, finally, Nix, you're speaking sense. Yeah, at this, even Nix is literally just saying, don't get off the boat, fuck that shit. Yeah. What was that? LOL, no thanks. And apparently there'd be big thing that we're supposed to be scared of, and they're gonna- Oh, uh, wow, you told Cole to shut his mouth? That's not gonna happen. And they're also gonna show a bunch of fog, a bunch of other crashed ships in this area. I wonder if this is- Okay, no, it's only two other crashed ships. <laughs> but either way, other crashed ships because of how devastating this creature can apparently be, and we're just hoping to ignore it. At the same time, I can also use this to what the hell go ahead and thing? show off the, like, more closely explain Anyhow, this. It's an alternate costume for Cole. It's the jacket he had in Infamous 1. Yeah. Which, it, it just looks better in this game period. Nix was dead quiet. Yeah. She led the way. Well, it's because this game's engine's right just better. A... I couldn't Look at those it. titties! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that explosion. <laughs> and flashback. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes are up here, Cole, in the flashback. <laughs> she told me about Bertrand with the race fear and a ring of outcasts. So Mr. Anti Conduit Freak Man himself turned himself what? into a conduit freak with the blast with the race fear. <laughs> yep. And Nix was a casualty of war. <laughs> so he oh my god, that actually is brutal. Afterwards. Yeah, it really is. So he became he was the race fear here. Her body capable of absorbing the race fear energy, unleashing her powers. Same thing's got to be true for that supposed human purist Bertrand. Yeah. Heading back to town, I couldn't stop thinking about it. If not, uh, Paul, the the blast, he's a he's a great A politician. You know, I won't yeah, do this thing. Yeah, took this the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I won't do this thing. Does <laughs> this thing? But then there's also the question of how powerful is he going to be? So they're really building him up to be a strong villain. We're gonna get yeah. Well, also you couldn't just have him be a cultist leader and not like fight him at some point, which obviously we're going to fight him now. Yeah, I mean, clearly enough. So yeah, now we actually got a bit more backstory on Nyx and on Bertrand. So there's definitely more to this than was initially let on, but at the same time, given what kind of game this is, it's kind of obvious.